Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you the easiest possible way to make a, a, a pyramid in Blender and Notepad. So, we're going to start by opening up Blender. We're going to have an empty scene. So, we're going we're gonna to delete everything. And we're going to export it as an OBJ file. Now, if everything will be the right size, that'd be great. To title this pyramid. Go downloads. We're going to export. Now we're going to close that Blender. We don't need it for the time being. Open up File Explorer, and then we're going to downloads. We don't need the MTL. We're just then we're going to open this in Notepad. So we've got all this, it's all bad, we don't need any of it. We're going to start by adding some vertices. How many vertices does the pyramid have, you may ask? Oh, well, it's five. So we're going to make five vertices. First one, we're going to want it at negative one, zero, one. And that's not a zero. That's a zero. That's what I'm talking about. The next vertice, we're going to be wanting this at zero. One zero. That that one is basically just going to be the top of the um, of the pyramid. We're going to keep going. Negative one, zero, negative one, getting a little rowdy. And one, zero, one, more more easy stuff. And one, zero, negative one. And now this is this is where the fun begins. So if if we just imported this, then we'd have some vertices that look roughly like a pyramid. They wouldn't have faces. That's no good. We want some faces. So we're gonna go. We're gonna put bam faces. We're gonna type f one two four f four four two Five F five two three F one three two and then the bottom one F one four five three cool stuff right so you may be wondering Brandon this is dumb why did you do it like this you could have just you could have easily just Actually, I don't know an easier way of doing this. Um, I could have. Th never mind. Well, that would have been a cool point if I could think of anything that would be more apt than it. Well, I guess we could remove this. Yeah, it's a little easier to read. So we're gonna save this, and now we have pyramid. We're gonna close it. We're gonna open back up Blender. Of course, it opens on the wrong monitor. Why wouldn't it? We're gonna go in. We're gonna file. Import OBJ and it'll be on the wrong monitor and the wrong size. I love that. I'm going to downloads pyramid.obj. It's only 85 bytes. Import. Look at that. Oh, it's too small. Okay, we can fix that. So you may be wondering, hey, this is a this is a bad way to do this. And I'll, you know what? Shut up. We're gonna move. We're gonna make this one too. Now he's going to be a little bit taller. Oh, he opened Blender. That's Chrome. We're going to open Blender back up on the wrong monitor because where else would it go? File. We're going to import OBJ. More time. Download. Please. That one. Import. Oh, and you see the cube is there. Get out of here. Look at that, we got our own we got our own little pyramid. Isn't he lovely? I sure think so.